Here at Silverstone, we're getting ready for race three of the weekend in the Radical Challenge Championship. Dominic Jackson is after points. Yeah, a bit, um, I wouldn't say disappointing. You know, it was very consistent with two second place finishes. Uh, a bit disappointing qualifying, which set up more difficult races. But, um, but yeah, as I say, uh, quite consistent. And that meant that the championship points have stayed fairly, uh, fairly similar to before the weekend. Yes, it's been a pretty uh, mixed weekend. Very strong qualifying session yesterday on a, on a wet track on, with slicks. Just waiting for the, the track to dry on the last two laps. Race one was, uh, was perfect. Started out in front, stayed in front, built a gap. Um, and even with a few success seconds, I was able to really uh, you know, power through, win the race easily. Uh, race two, on the other hand, was, was quite a bit more difficult. Bogged down on the start uh, and then made a, a pretty big mistake. Maggots Beckett's went through the grass, through the gravel, rejoined, went back down to, to eighth, uh, probably then back up to fifth, but just couldn't get my head uh, in the right place, just kind of lost that race and, uh, and wasn't able to recover. Uh, yeah, so yesterday we had a really good uh, couple of races, so P3 in the first race and uh, we finished first in the second race. Uh, we had a few small issues with the car in the first race, obviously giving us not that raw speed that we wanted, um, but really good to finish on a high yesterday and, and still be in the fight for the championship, which we didn't even think we'd be in with a chance of at the beginning of the season. We're hoping for another dry race today because we've got more raw speed in the, in the dry. So as long as it's dry and everything goes our way, we'll, we'll be up there again. Race three, set to get underway then. Rolling start, pit stops, it's a 50 minute race and now the success seconds will take effect. 10 for Jack Constable on pole. Dominic Jackson has 15 alongside him. Joe Stables has none. He's on the third slot on the grid with Marcus Clutton for company ahead of Jerome de Sadelier, who's got 20 extra seconds to serve in the pits. Chris Preen, Brian Cordwell, Rod Goodman, John McRae, John Harrison all round out that top 10. Others to look for lower down, Spencer Bourne and Mark Richards coming up from 15th on the grid. It's been a really lean weekend thus far. He should make progress here. So too, Jason Rishover, only 24th on the grid, and he's normally a pretty rapid driver as well. The pace car as it is will peel off this time. We should be good to go racing then. Pole position is Jack Constable. Let's see whether he can score a second win of the weekend. He's got 10 extra seconds to serve in the pits against the 15 of Dominic Jackson. We are set to go racing then. Constable and Jackson run side by side up towards the end of the rolling start. The lights on the gantry are red when they go out. The race will get underway now. It is blast off and a good start made by Constable, but a good start also by Marcus Clutton from the second row. And he tries to go around the outside of Joe Stables as they dive through Cops for the first time. Who is it that has hit the front? Is Jack Constable hanging on to that advantage? Let's see. Yes, it is. So Constable leads. Second is Jackson. Third is Clutton with a bit of a twitch, but he hangs on to it as they dive on cold tyres through Beckett's for the first time. What about Jerome de Sadelier in all of this? Fifth and whoops, there's contact there as Spencer Bourne clatters up the inside of John Harrison. Harrison is the one that gets knocked off the road. He's back on again, but delayed. Jack Constable then leads the pack as they come onto Hangar Straight this time, down towards Stowe. Through they turn into the right hander. Mark Richards in 52 goes through just keeping at bay number 14 of John McLeod. He's got another five seconds to serve as John in the pits, so he needs to be making progress early doors. But right now, Jack Constable, look, is getting away, and because Dominic Jackson is having to defend from Marcus Clutton, that lead is increasing all the time. The field pouring out of club corner. Martin Verity there tries to get up on the inside of John McLeod. Can't do it. Leaders dive their way down through that right, left flick, Abbey into farm. Verity, he's going backwards there. He's lost another place and he's in danger of losing one more to Mark Crader there as they drop towards Village. Wide, though, goes Jack Constable. Leader outbreaks himself and whoops, there's contact there. Brian Cordwell it is that's knocked into a spin. Everybody else gets round him. Brian Cordwell falls down the order. It's been a very frantic first lap. And Jack Constable's good lead has virtually disappeared because of that tiny mistake that he made coming into Village. Through goes Jason Rishover, serving up the improvement needed from 24th on the grid. The leaders die through Brooklyn to Jack Constable, forced out wide, is down to fourth place. So it's Jackson leading, Stables is second, third is Clutton, and fourth is Jack Constable. It has all gone wrong for him in the second part of the lap. Dominic Jackson leads the field up towards Woodcut, over the timing line here. 
and through they go, down towards Cops. Now, can Jackson get away? There is Jack Constable. He will serve a shorter mandatory pit stop. So even though he's lost places and has lost time, some of that he will win back in the pit window. Through they come out of the Beckett's S's onto the hangar straight once more. And Jack Constable on the back of Marcus Clatton trying now to retaliate. He's taking Jerome de Sadelia with him. Clatton is busy attacking and defending because he wants to get up past Joe Stables as well. Stables having a good, solid weekend. Dramas in race one, mechanically put him out, but good pace shown. And a podium in race two, and he could do it again in race three here, the longer 50 minute race. Out of Stowe, wide goes to Sadelia and that prevents the challenge coming against Constable as they head down through Vale once more. Out of club corner they turn now. Past the wing is the race leader getting away. Dominic Jackson sees in his mirrors the yellow-nosed car there of Joe Stables and Stables is keeping him honest. Rod Goodman in the blue car there getting himself into contention, closing onto the tail of John McLeod, and another slide at Village for Jack Constable. He's done it once and lost ground and then lost places, and he very nearly lost the lot that time. McCall looking nervous underneath him, squirming that as he comes through Village. He's working hard to keep the saddle here at bay, but the danger is he goes off the road here. The leading quintet still very closely bunched as they come down towards Brooklands once more, though. through that left, now right into Luffield. The leader is just ever so slightly creeping away. Dominic Jackson on this lap, just gaining a bit of time in the sectors. Only by 10th, but it's all adding up. He's just creeping away slightly. Over the line they go then now, down towards Cops Corner. Midfield battle still raging on lower down as well. And in the midst of all of this, desperately keen to try to get himself up the order is 66, Brian Cordwell at the back of this trio, the red and white car, remember, tagged into its early spin. John Harrison, he was also delayed on the opening lap, remember, with a bit of contact. So what can he do now to try to gain ground? Long race, long way to go. We'll find that places do come to him as the race wears on. Now, there is Jason Rishover making good progress also up from 24th on the grid. Rod Goodman there in the blue car to the outside line as they come onto Hangar Straight. And here you can see one of the beauties of the Radical Challenge Championship. Just about everybody has got someone to race against on the inside line there, trying to gain ground. Going into Stowe Corner. John Caldwell up from the back of the grid. But there, the race leader, number four, Dominic Jackson, is just slightly further, extending that gap over Joe Stables. Now, what about Marcus Clatton third? He now concentrating solely on the attack. Look, he's just shaken off the Constable de Sadelier fight. So all the focus of Clatton is on the back of Stables' car. Can he find a way by? Out of the loop they come, now through Aintree, onto Wellington Strait once again. The run down towards the left-hander at Brooklands, and Dominic Jackson's advantage is a modest one, bearing in mind that Joe Stables does not have to serve anything extra in the pits. So Jackson's advantage is going to disappear completely. He's got to try and pull out more than 15 seconds to preserve the lead over Stables in the pit window, and that is proving to be very difficult indeed. John Cordwell there, up from the rear of the grid, still trying to make progress if he can as the cars come up towards Luffield. Another challenge is made, lower down, look behind. Howie Goodmanson loses out, runs wide, coming through Luffield, loses track position there. Peter Brooks goes through and instantly starts to gain ground against him, pulled clear as they come through Woodcut. Leaders all go through. And there on the inside line, Amir Faisalin. He's the start driver in that double driver entry in this race. You don't have to have a co-driver, some choose so to do. And they're all soloists up front. Jackson just creeping away from Stables. He really needs Stables to get busy defending here from Clutton, who's sideways going through Stowe. If 
that second place car of Joe Stables is delayed. That plays a little bit more into the hands of the race leader. It gives him a chance to build up the advantage, but it's not proving easy to do, that's for sure. Goodmanson's on the attack once more. Back on the inside of Peter Brooks, and Goodmanson goes through. There he is, look. Goes through on the inside line, diving into Stowe. Oh, and Goodmanson goes by, and there, number 10, John Cordwell, making great progress up from 26th on the grid. We'll see where he is at flag four, but he's looking strong and continues to push forward, continues to gain ground here. He's ahead of Elliot Goodman now, as the leaders drop down once more with a change for second place into Brooklyn's. Clutton is up into second, and to fourth is about to go to Sadelier. Yes, he's done it on the inside, but that's the outside for Luffield. Can he hang on to it? They go toe-to-toe -to -toe through the corner. Back on the inside comes Constable, and he hangs on to the place. Great racing between them. But Clutton, significantly, is now up into second place, going after Dominic Jackson, the race leader. There they are, into Cops. Stables third, battle on for fourth. A sideways to Sadelier up the inside. Went for the move, hit the brakes. The car almost got away from him, and to Sadelier losing a couple of lengths as a consequence. Right now, though, Dominic Jackson is the race leader. He has taken six victories already this season. He wants another, not only for the win rate, but also to try to increase the advantage in the championship. It's not going to be easy, though, because the opposition is tough, and he has got that long pit stop with an extra 15 seconds to serve. Down he comes to Stowe Corner. Dominic Jackson is the race leader here at Silverstone.